Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My name is Amelia Humphrey, and today we'll be talking about the United Kingdom. Follow me for more. With a population of 64.4 million people, the United Kingdom is a relatively small place. Their capital, London, is where most of the tourism and action happens. Come. <laughs> now the United Kingdom is in Western Europe. It has mostly rugged hills and low mountains for terrain. The overall climate is temperate and is often overcast throughout the year. Let's talk more about the flag. The Union Jack, or otherwise known as the Union Flag, is a blue field with a red cross who represents St. George, the patron saint of Ireland. Edged in white on the diagonal red cross of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, is all diagonal lines with the white cross of St. Andrew, the patron saint of Scotland. This flag is the basis for a number of other flags, including the Commonwealth countries and their states of provinces, and British overseas territories. The United Kingdom is a constitutional monarchy and parliamentary democracy with a queen and a parliament that has two houses. The House of Lords with 574 life peers, 92 hereditary peers, and 26 bishops, and the House of Commons, which has 651 popularity elected members. Supreme legislative powers is vested in Parliament, which sits for five years unless dissolved sooner. The House of Lords was stripped of most of its power in 1911, and now its main function is to revise legislation. In November 1999, hundreds of hereditary peers were expelled in an effort to make the body more democratic. The executive power of the crown is exercised by the cabinet, headed by the prime minister. The religions of the United Kingdom are 59.5% of Christian, which includes Anglican, Roman Catholic, Presbyterian, and Methodist, 4.4% Muslim, 1.3% Hindu, Others are 2% and no religion is 25.7% of the population. in all of Europe, costing 19 times more than any other European country. Come closer. In the UK, the average procedure will cost 117 pounds, compared to the measly six pounds in Hungary. This has led to a string of people called health tourists, who travel from Britain to other countries to obtain the health care that they need. Here. Dental tourism is the highest growing medical tourism in all of Britain. Around 770,000 people had traveled in 2006 for medical reasons, and 43% of those were going for better dental care. You can help by supporting the British Dental Health Foundation. They are a nonprofit organization that are trying to improve the lives of millions of people by reducing the effects of oral health. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously you weren't following. <laughs> no, I didn't know you were gonna walk away. Yeah, yeah. Really bad countdown. <laughs> Lucy should be saying, Lucy, have a beer in the cellars of old Valley Vine. I'm wearing my retainer. Whoopie doo! Pounds on average compared to the Me, I'm feeling me a bird. It's way more interesting.